what's up guys it's the mad and for call of duty black ops 3 zombies for the map shadows of evil obviously we are still trying to figure out how to upgrade this wonder weapon based on the last video we went over actually some leaked gameplay that we saw and a ton of new stuff that was found within the coding of the files and someone actually took out cocoons and put them in their correct respective locations around the map obviously it was manually set into the game so those are not the actual steps and we don't really know how to actually activate the cocoons but we do know the cocoons are there so once the cocoons are there, everyone is talking about, I'll leave a link to the actual Reddit post where a lot of people are just discussing all this stuff on screen or no, in the description obviously if you want to check that out. And they're basically saying there's a lot of weird stuff going on with these cocoons based on the gameplay that they saw. The leaked gameplay again will be in the description and then there's probably going to be more gameplay coming out as well as people are trying to figure this out. Getting the PC stuff, um, taking it out of the code, putting it in and really trying to see how to actually activate these steps and what to actually do with these cocoons all around Shadows of Evil. Now what people are saying about these cocoons are pretty pretty interesting. Every single cocoon is really high up in the sky, it's under a bridge, under a ledge, under a platform, there's no potential way you can ever actually get to that location if you're in your normal human mode. Just making sure if you're on top of a bridge, if you're on top of anything, there's no way you can actually access that area under the bridge and under the ledges all around the Shadows of Evil map and all the, you know, all the locations where the actual cocoons are placed. Um, so one thing, I think it's a really possible, you know, explanation of why and how you can actually activate these cocoons. Um, it was actually found within the code that you actually have to activate them manually as well. So you have to sort of interact with them and shooting at them and doing that stuff hasn't been working for people. At least the people that actually found the cocoons and the leaked gameplay that we saw. So what you actually need to do is something with beast mode. It's anything with beast mode from killing zombies under the cocoon to potentially even, you know, grappling up to the cocoon and knocking it down or using a weapon while in beast mode and actually knocking the cocoon down. Just something involving beast mode because as you guys know, beast mode sort of like this afterlife mode from Mob of the Dead and from afterlife you can basically do anything. You're invincible, you're in your afterlife mode basically. So you can almost do a ton of insane stuff that you couldn't have done when when you were in your human form. Uh, afterlife mode obviously was sort of the key factor in a lot of the easter egg steps for Mob of the Dead. Not just pack punching, but just doing a ton of crazy stuff as well. The Golden Spork, a ton of stuff involved, you know, the afterlife mode. And I think with beast mode as well, it's going to be the same sort of thing. And it's sort of the only thing that makes sense. It's the only possible thing where you can actually get up and grapple or just, I, I guess, reach these cocoons high up in the sky, high up on these ledges and signs and bridges. That's the only possible way you would actually be able to do it. Obviously, shooting hasn't worked, and that's the only way we can activate it as well, unless it was like a ladder thing. Um, that's really just a theory. I think people have been talking about on Twitter, like, oh yeah, well, what if the players climbed up there? What if they just got there from some sort of like remote controlled plane or helicopter, but it doesn't make sense, obviously. It's right above you. It's not that far. Um, but I think beast mode is a very reasonable assumption to make because obviously you can grapple up to places, you can almost be invincible, do whatever you need to do, and it makes sense for the easter egg, it makes sense for upgrading this wonder weapon, and it sort of makes sense for just activating these cocoons, that's the only way as of now, so definitely try stuff with the beast mode, we'll be trying to figure out how to actually do this as well. Now remember, this is more for once you actually get the cocoons, so we still need to know how to spawn the cocoons in. This little video here is more for once the cocoons are there, what do we do with those? Um, so we'll have to see how to actually spawn those in first, so that's something to talk about as well. But right now, I think we're getting on to something. There's a lot of crazy stuff going around. Again, I will make more videos on this. I will talk about this as much as I can for you guys. I'm trying to bring you guys as much information as possible so we can figure this out. And um, yeah, like the video, enjoy, subscribe for more. Tell me guys what you think about using the beast mode to activate the cocoons in Shadows of Evil to upgrade the Wonder Weapon. I'll see you guys later.